morning everybody. Welcome to European Slow Pitch Cup 2012. Today is Saturday, it's 4th of August and it's a beautiful sunny day here in Pardubice. Now we are going to watch one of the best games ever. My name is Justin, I'll guide you through this beautiful day. Follow me. So we can already see the first game going on. And this is the first base coming. Oh yes. So, I hope we enjoy it. Slow pitch softball is a great all generations game. The European Slow Pitch Cup was clear evidence of that. Let's talk to the players. It's great. It's big fun. I mean, a lot of guys play baseball or fast pitch softball, but there's so much action going on if you play slow pitch. And Corey is fun, yeah, because you see the girls and the girls see the boys, and that adds to the fun. Oh, well, it's good fun. It's good people. It's co -ed. It's very casual. Uh, it's just a good time. Oh, it's it's amazing because you can play with the guys and you can uh, feel how can throw really hard or bad and swing and it's amazing. Um, slow pitch, there's a lot more action in it. Um, I play I play baseball as well um, and it's a real battle between the pitcher and the batter when you're playing baseball. It's the same with fast pitch. Um, but slow pitch, is a, it's a batter against the fielder so the batter has to, you know, pick his spot and it's a real, you know, high intensity game. There's a lot of hits, a lot of plays, so it's a lot faster and um, like we've had, we have players that have come from fast pitch backgrounds that really enjoy the slow pitch version because it's um, so many plays, so many, a lot of action right the way through the game. Yeah, it is a great um, chance to meet new people and yeah, I think it's interesting to play with the guys because yeah, in fast pitch you only play with girls and it's great. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely it's very attractive and it's uh, it's a thing that makes slow pitch really great game and great game for everybody. What would you wish to slow pitch for future? Uh, I wish that in Czech Republic uh, slow pitch grow and uh, everybody plays it because it's really really great game. You have heard that yourself. Everyone loves slow pitch. Let's listen to the spokesperson of the European Softball Federation. We are at VIP table. Uh, you can see it, that we are covered against crowds. And next to me is Mike Jennings. He is technical commissioner of ESF. And uh, I would like to ask, why is this Slow Pitch Cup taking place here in Czech Republic? Well, the first reason is that Czech Republic volunteered to put it on. Uh, so at a Congress every year, uh, any potential organizers come to put a bid in and then there is a vote to see at which uh, venue the competition will take place. Very good. Uh, so, what would you say is the biggest attractivity for players and for audience, for public, uh, in uh, slow pitch? I, I think there is a combination of factors which make it a fantastic game for lots of different people to play. Um, we have people playing who started as boys in baseball, and have been all the way through baseball until they're, uh, they're, they're men. Uh, women who started in fast pitch, uh, slow uh, softball, and they come through and then they come to, uh, to slow pitch as mixed teams. And that is one of the first key things then. The teams are co-ed. Five men, five women. Six men, six women. And the women are equally important with the men. So that balance is really important for us. And the second thing that makes slow pitch a really interesting sport is that it is a sport you can also come to late in life. You don't have to start at 13 to be good at it. And in many countries, including my country in GB, in Ireland, a lot of adults will start to play the game at the age of 18, 19, 20, 21. And they come in at that level, find it a really good competitive sport, and it is not expensive to start. You don't need big facilities. You don't have to have a backstop. And we play competitions in Ireland and in GB, as an example, where we will have eight or 10 fields in one big arena uh, without fences, but just so 20 teams can play at once. That was Mike Jennings. Meanwhile, you had a chance to see short video from the first match of the finals. Asko Linz Stamm versus Sunwill Tigers. 
The Tigers came on the top to the seventh place in this exciting match. This is Tigers, they are from Belgium and they are on the seventh rank. Uh, how do you feel? And uh, how many matches have you won? <laughs> oh, just let, uh, look, it is the only match they won. Uh, well, what will you do to be better next time? Um, practice, practice <laughs> and practice. Okay. So do, you, so, do you want to tell something about slow pitch to our spectators? Oh yes, please do it. <laughs> no, why, why have you chosen to play slow pitch? I don't, I don't know. You don't know? You just came on the field and you just go... Okay, see the lucky man. Just walk around and then he is now on the seventh rank on the, on the slow pitch cup. Okay, congratulations, Igor. Hello, I have here Inas. Uh, she's from Bandidos. And uh, they are quite sad because they lost the final match and they ended on rank eight. But glory to the victors and honor to the defeated. Uh, you will go over. And how do you feel now? Yeah, sad because we started um, good in the tournament and now we are eighth. And it, yeah, it's sad, but next year maybe we will be better. No international match can exist without the presence of journalists and reporters. We had a chance to talk to one of the reporters who specializes in softball and slow pitch about the history of the European Slow Pitch Cup. Let me introduce you Bob Frommer, the journal softball and slow pitch journalist. And I would like to ask you something theoretically. Uh, if you could tell us when slow pitch uh, was founded and what are the main differences for spectators, for players and for journalists too. Okay. Um, slow pitch began in, in Britain in the 1950s but in the 1980s it kind of really took off and that was really very different in the rest of Europe because in the rest of Europe fast pitch was the game that was played as far as softball was concerned and in Britain very little fast pitch everybody plays slow pitch that was fine for a while and then here was our problem uh, we had no international competition to play so we started talking to the European Softball Federation about maybe introducing some kind of European slow pitch competition. And in, but there wasn't very much slow pitch played in Europe. People played it when they got too old to play baseball or, or fast pitch. But there was a little bit of interest and in 1997 the ESF said, okay, we'll have a European slow pitch championship. So the first one took place in Britain in 1998 and they've happened every two years since then. And Britain has won every single one of them because of course we know how to play slow pitch and for a long time the rest of Europe didn't really know how to play slow pitch. The European Slow Pitch Cup, which you're seeing here, was started in 2007, so this is the sixth time it's been played. And it was a logical extension of the European Slow Pitch Championship. You, you have a competition for club teams like, like they do in fast pitch. But the thing that's happened is that even though British teams have won all the competitions so far, uh, the Irish won one Slow Pitch Cup, the rest of Europe is really catching up fast and you've seen in this tournament that the British team has lost to the Slovenian team. Last year in the European Soviet Championships the Slovenian team beat the British twice before the British finally won. So the rest of Europe is realizing that slow pitch isn't quite as easy as they might think and it has its own techniques and its own disciplines and now teams in Europe are learning to play it. The match for fifth place was decided in the second half. The Irish Dynamos couldn't hold the lead and fell to the Czech team DNA. This is Frankie. He is from Dynamos. He is Irish, and uh, you now oh sorry, uh, you now lost the final match. So how do you feel? Um, well, it was, a, it was a tough game. It started kind of slowly, but we, we wanted to get a lot of our players out and get some game time because it was a tough week for us and it was a lot of competitive games. So a lot of our players on the bench needed extra game time. So we just got them out there and gave them extra kind of go on the field. So it was good. This is Ifcha. Uh, they won the last battle. So you are on the fifth rank, correct? Uh, that's correct. And what would you say? You were losing eight to six and then you won 17 to 10. It was a big change. So what did you, uh, what did, what did, what did you done better? Well, what I think is a ball game, so nobody knows what will happen. And we just 
have a luck, a really big luck, and we were better, I think, on the bat. It's a lot of work to organize such a tournament. It takes a lot of time, persistence, money, and many other things. The main organizer will elaborate. This is Wayne. This is very important man. He is member of the local team Pasos Pardubice, but he is also the chief of organizers of all the slow pitch tournament. So, and now we switch off to Czech, and then we'll try to translate it to you. Takže uh, Wayne, já gratuluji tedy. Wayne, congratulations for the excellent tournament. Can you tell us how difficult is it to organize such a big event? It wasn't easy. I took nearly three-fourths of a year, but in the end, it looks like we managed it all pretty well. How many people were involved? It was about 30 people. All 30 of them are from the local team? Not all are club members. We have a number of volunteers and I'd like to thank them for their hard work. We are nearly by the end of the tournament. What would be your closing words? I would like to thank everyone again for their help in organizing the tournament. A lot of these volunteers had to take vacation to do this. I hope every team will leave with the feeling they would like to come back again. Thank uh, Thanks to Wayne and we hope that we could be part of such a nice tournament in next years. Maybe it will be regular. So, that was it. That was Wayne. So, we are back at the tournament. We unfortunately won't see the home team Pasos Pardubice play. They finished fourth a day ago. You see travelers from Germany and Chromies from England played for a place in the final. The London team had the edge throughout the match and will continue onwards. The travelers took it well and were quite satisfied with their results. Uh, this is Karim, he is from Travelers. Uh, you are from Germany, right? Uh, and tell me, uh, you are third, uh, but you lost the final this, this last uh, match. How do you feel? We are very happy. When we came here, we never thought we would finish third. So this is a great success story for us and we really enjoy it. Uh, this is Vicky, she's a catcher of uh, the Chromies. Uh, do you know actually what Chromies in Czech means? Lame. <laughs> do you feel lame? Okay, uh, no I didn't know that, but no we're not lame. What does it mean in English? I don't know. Um, basically it's a team that was brought in from the Ad League from way back when. So it's been going for like years. Very good. Uh, I've seen I've seen by, by the game, you, you've been coaching a lot uh, from a catch, a catch position. Uh, well, do you do it all the time? All the time. I don't stop yelling until the game's over. And then maybe not even then. And what is about, what does it to your voice? Um, I lose it for three days after this tournament. And uh, what, do you, what is your strategy for the final? You get to the final, so now you would need your voice much more? You just keep on yelling. You don't give up. And as a strategy, strategy as uh, all your team? Uh, we just never give up. Just keep going. That's we it. Play as a team. We play as a team. Very good. So we hold your thumbs. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is Tani. Uh, this is the captain of Promise. So you won the semi-final and uh, how do you feel? I feel great. Uh, I think the team turned it on at the right points. Uh, we hit well, we fielded pretty good. Um, I think we expected to be in the final, so we're happy to be there. Yeah, well, your winning was quite high. You won uh, 11 to 7, uh, am I correct? That's correct, yes. So uh, I think it's a good result, fair reflection. And uh, I was asking your colleague, uh, what is your strategy to the final? Well, clearly in the final yesterday, in the first 1v2 game, they, they beat us. So we need to go out hard, we need to score lots of runs and very tight defence. An important part of the tournament and of every match are umpires. We'll talk to two of them about slow pitch. This is Mr. Stefan Susi. He is uh, blue, the referee. And uh, I would like to ask you, uh, how was the tournament and uh, how do you come here? 
Um, uh, the tournament's awesome. I came from Canada, a uh, long ways. My uh, federation sent me to uh, umpire here, and to uh, it's an exchange that we have with the other umpires. And I find the uh, the uh, ball is very good, and um, I really enjoy the people, and the whole thing is really good. And uh, how is the niveau? How, how would you say the uh, the teams, the level? Yeah, level uh, the level is very comparable to North America for uh, co-ed. I would say that uh, especially the girls are very good in this tournament, probably as good as Canadians and Americans. And uh, I'd say it's probably a lower A to B uh, in our country. Welcome please, James O'Farrell, Empower Chief. Hello. And uh, tell us, uh, how would you just, uh, what would you say about the tournament, tournament which is now going to its final? Um, the, the European the ECCS, which is this tournament, has been going for a number of years. Um, I have been involved in eight of these international tournaments and the standard is ever increasing. Uh, it's really rewarding to see Slovenia coming back through and getting into another final. It's unfortunate uh, the Irish team didn't get through, but uh, obviously as an umpire I have to be impartial. The standard of play has increased and improved and the growth is the biggest time, uh, biggest tournament we've had in Europe of, of this format. And it's, uh, it's fantastic and the hosts have been really, really good to us. Also to you as a, as a judge, uh, have you have had, I asked your colleague too, have you had any argument here on the field or just uh, normally are there, do they do the players argue about your judgment? We're very lucky with slow pitch, um, the players respect the judgment of the umpires and in fact in all of the years that I've been umpiring here in Europe, we have only ever had one ejection, total. That's great, so I wish you that it was the last one and uh, well, all the best to slow pitch. Thank you, best of luck. Thank you. So, now here is the final. Chromies versus Lisicke. In the bottom of the third inning, British team was taking over by 2-0 and Slovenian players were losing the game. By the end of the third inning, everything took turn. Lisicke lowered to 1-2 and shortly after they turned the score with three run home run to 4-2. In the fourth inning, none of the teams scored. During the fifth one, Chromies lowered to 3-4 to four, and it looked like a real drama. By the resumed match, the power of Lisicke bet showed off again. Two-run home run hired the score to 6-3 to three and closed them to the victory. The British team was trying to turn the score during the seventh inning, but they only lowered the score to 4-6. To it was ended by quite complicated double play, followed by the joy of victory of the winning team. This is Michael from Chromies from Britain and they lost the final. So they are silver, but it's not so bad, is it? Ah, no, sure, it could be a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, we lost to a good team, so it's okay. And do you think uh, it could include that you played as the only team you played two matches today? No, no, that's not to do it at all. No, uh, you should be better for playing two games. Okay, I think it, it, uh, as we have seen, it, is, uh, it was a game of home runs because there were two home runs and they get six points from it. So uh, what do you think about you having no, no none? none? Uh, they hit two out of the park for six runs. I mean, that's the whole game. So fair play to uh, Alice. He hit the two of them. They were important. They were massive. So Anyway, uh, how was the tournament at all? Brilliant, brilliant. The setting is great. The food is great. <laughs> the beer is great. Just we could have won it, that's all. This is Jenny with a British flag just uh, ripped off. <laughs> Uh, how was it, Jenny, this uh, final? How was it for you personally? How was it for your team? Uh, it was a really good final. It, it always is against that team. They're lovely people um, and they play really well. So all together, a good game. It so was the second match uh, with them, wasn't it? And if you compare it uh, to the first one, how was the final? Was there some differences there? More stressful. 
This one was more stressful. They batted, we all batted better yesterday. So it was more like a defensive game today. Okay. And the same question, uh, you played two matches today. Uh, did you feel a little more tired or did any influence? I felt fine. I felt alright. I felt like the first game was more like a warm-up, which it felt good. This is Aleš. He's from Lištičky. He's the winner of this championship. So how do you feel? Do you feel exhausted or have you some injury? Well, I got some new energy now, so <laughs> so I'm good. <laughs> so you have uh, your energy inside. You are just uh, you are uh, sp uh, sparing it for uh, for the late night. Yeah, I'm just like explosion, waiting to come out. <laughs> okay, how do you feel about all the tournament? How do you feel about uh, the game? About the final? Well, the finals were great. Well, we, we did what we had to. We, we, strugg we struggled a bit on bat at first, but they struggled even more. So. <laughs> So it came out perfect. And uh, the whole tournament, uh, did you like it? Uh, the organization, weather, fields at all? Yeah, yeah, we love Czech Republic. <laughs> we all do. We like it. <laughs> so this is all the Lištičky. It means uh, foxies, doesn't it? So, and you have started with this. Can you do it? So. So oh, this was the winning team from Slovenia. Congratulations to all of them. So would you want to say something to our spectators? Anyone? Just uh... okay. So now we are going to watch the ceremony. Medal ceremony with all its necessities. Best teams and individuals were awarded. Let us listen to a couple of players' impressions about the tournament, regardless to the results of their teams. It was pretty good organized and nice teams, nice people, and yeah, I liked it. Oh, I had a brilliant time. It's my first time out here, so, so it's my first time here. So thank you so much. I had a great time. Yeah, it was. It was it, I, we've been with this club. We've been to this tournament a number of years, and um, this has probably been the best organized one I think so far. We just accommodation was perfect. And the field's great and everyone's been treating us really well. Uh, I love it all, organizers were really great and did everything that they can and weather was excellent, so that was really, really great tournament. And how did you like all the tournament here? Oh, perfect, it was perfectly organized and uh, we had, I guess, nine nice games and we enjoyed the people, the umpires, the spectators, everything. This is the best European Cup that we've ever had. There are eight teams here, which is more than we've had before. The standard is higher. Um, seven of the eight teams are really quite good and, and can beat you know, the other teams. So there's been good competition. Everyone's enjoyed it. Um, everyone's enjoyed being in Party Beachy, which is a lovely town. I probably didn't say that correctly. And um, it's been the best European Slow Pitch Cup that, that we've ever had. Last spokesperson was not a player as he could understand. This was our journalist who just made a conclusion. So finally, do you enjoy Slow Pitch? Would you like to try? Would you like to be a part of organized competition? Even this is answered by acknowledgeable person. Uh, this is John Austin and his function is so difficult that I let him to say it by himself. Hello John. How are you doing Justin? I'm the uh, Slow Pitch Development Commissioner for the SF. Well, the best thing to do would be to contact your federation. Each country within the SF has a, has a member federation or a national federation to contact them to find out what the best way or if there's any clubs in your area. Um, certainly it's a lot easier to join an existing club than to, to set one up because there's equipment and there's structure and there's, more importantly, there's coaches. There's people who'll, who'll show you and help you actually how to play the game. I think doing it on your own is a bit more difficult but it can be done. It's, we, we do it in Ireland quite a bit in terms of new teams start off uh, and we just make sure that there's some sort of mentoring going on with our established coaches and stuff like that. Thank you very much, John. Now my final scene and I'm looking forward to see you next time in one of the slow pitch tournaments again. This was really an amazing day. I can say it was some kind of celebration of sport because Players, pitchers, hitters, all of them did their best and everybody must say slow pitch is a great game. This is home plate. I wish to all of you not just to watch it but to touch it. All the best to slow pitch.